क्वेश्चन नंबर 161 ड्यू टू इंक्रीजिंग एयरबॉर्न एलर्जेंस पीपल सफरिंग फ्रॉम रेस्पिरेटरी डिसऑर्डर मैनिफेस्ट वीजिंग ड्यू टू रिडक्शन इन द सिक्रीशन ऑफ सरफैक्टेंट्स बाय न्यूमोसाइट्स प्रोलिफरेशन ऑफ फाइब्रस टिश्यू एंड डैमेज ऑफ एल्वियोलर वॉल्स इन्फ्लामेशन ऑफ ब्रोंकाई एंड ब्रोंक्योल्स benign growth on mucus lining of alveoli asthma occurs due to allergic reaction to foreign substances that affect the respiratory tract and there is inflammation of bronchi and bronchioles leading to the constriction of these respiratory pathways which produce wheezing sound the right answer here is inflammation of bronchi and bronchioles option 1 and 2 is not applicable in this case and benign growth is also not applicable here The correct answer is option number three. Question one sixty two. Tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume of an athlete are five hundred mL and thousand mL respectively. What will be his expiratory capacity if the residual volume is twelve hundred mL? Three thousand, twenty five hundred, two thousand and fifteen hundred. Students, as we know, expiratory capacity is the sum of tidal volume and expiratory reserve volume the tidal volume given here is 500 and expiratory reserve volume is 1000 so the expiratory capacity comes out to be 1500 ml the correct option would be option number 4 1500 ml question number 163 animals which have a network of tracheal tubes to transport atmospheric air within the body are flatworms insects coelenterates sponges lower invertebrates like sponges coelenterates flatworms etc these organisms exchange o2 and co2 by simple diffusion over their entire body surface whereas insects use network of tracheal tubes for respiration the correct answer here is option number 2 insects question number 164 in humans the thoracic chamber is formed dorsally by the a and ventrally by the b choose the option which fills the blanks correctly A has ribs, vertebral column, ribs, diaphragm. B has diaphragm, sternum, sternum ribs. Let's look at the anatomy of thoracic chamber. The thoracic chamber is formed dorsally by the vertebral column, ventrally by the sternum laterally it's bounded by the ribs and on the lower side there is this dome shaped diaphragm the correct answer here would be option number 2 since dorsally it is lined by vertebral column and ventrally by sternum right answer is 2 Question number one sixty five. Structures not supported by incomplete cartilaginous rings are or is initial bronchioles, tertiary bronchi, trachea, terminal bronchioles. Students, if we see in a human respiratory system the structures which are lined by incomplete cartilaginous rings, they are trachea, the bronchi, primary, secondary, tertiary. and initial bronchioles and terminal bronchioles are not lined by incomplete cartilaginous rings which makes it our answer the correct answer is option number 4 terminal bronchioles